Are we on? Okay, this is episode two, second lesson in how to use OBS Ninja. I'm Chris, and I'm Steve. there's Steve. Uh, I'm in Germany. You're in Canada, so we're we're using OBS Ninja to talk to each other at good quality and low latency. And uh, in the first lesson, we showed you just a very basic concept of how to get video from one browser to the other. And uh, now we are going to introduce you to a bit more of an advanced way to do it, albeit I think a simpler way, and that's a room. So room is kind of a very powerful concept that is behind OBS Ninja. Would you like to say a few words about what that does? Uh, so yeah, um, a room is a way to bring multiple streams together uh, for the purpose of... You're getting a phone call. Doesn't matter. For the purpose of uh, getting the benefits of things like echo cancellation, mm -hmm. uh, allowing people to have mix minus audio, um, and also supporting mobile devices where you couldn't be able, to, where you couldn't open up multiple tabs. Uh, a room allows you to uh, pr provide multiple streams in, in those cases where you couldn't normally do it. Mm -hmm. uh, we also support uh, a director's room. And the director's room allows you to essentially manage those streams remotely. So you can invite a guest in without needing to predefine a stream ID. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a lot of easy access as a producer that you wouldn't normally get. So room is a, is a kind of an automatic mixer. Multiple people join the same room and they can all see and hear each other. And then you can, as a director, access their individual feeds, individual streams from that. So uh, why don't we just show what this looks like? And for that, we're going to a couple of browsers. The left one is mine here in Germany. The right one is yours in Toronto. So um, I'm going to create a room. And the way you do this is just by giving it a name. So obs.ninja slash question mark room equals. And now I'll call it, I don't know, my secret room. And I'm opening a new room, my secret room, all lowercase, and I'm joining the room with a camera and a microphone. And now I am in this room. And now look what happens when Steve joins the room. Kind of as the second person, my secret room. So my secret room. My, uh, my secret room. So I join the camera. I'm going to select my microphone and my camera. Yeah. And there we go. Um, I'll mute myself here just so we don't get into any trouble. So now what we see here is um, that we both are in the same room. We can see each other. We can talk to each other in that room. And um, that is the basics of the room. And if a third person joins, they will just squeeze in there. And then you have three people on the screen. And if a fourth person, a person joins and so on. There is some limitation there. It's not like uh, I, I probably wouldn't try to put 20 people in a room. Um, it kind of seems to depend on your network because I think one thing we haven't really talked about yet is that Obis Ninja doesn't use a central server to facilitate all these connections. There's a handshake server that takes care of the interaction, but all the video and audio streams go from browser to browser. So they're all point to point. Which means, um, if you put the more people you put in a room, the more different multiple connections each of the people in the room or each of the browsers in the room will have to handle. So I think a doable size is four, five, maybe six. What's the biggest one you've seen so far? Thirty was was mentioned. Thirty, but that's pushing it, right? That's it is. Ten. You need lots of bandwidth. You need lots of CPU, GPU power on your computer. Otherwise, that's a bit of a possible problem. You you could disable the video and get into more advanced things like do an audio only room or a select video mm -hmm. a room, and that will let you probably get 20, 30 people more comfortably. Mm -hmm. 
it definitely depends on all your guests. It's the guest with the slowest right. connection and the slowest computer that's going to break the room first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but these are these we have there are ways to handle that, and um, those are going to be in a future episode under advanced concepts. So for now, the room is from a guest's point of view is pretty much um, an automated room that takes care of all the connections and so on. But the nice thing about rooms is that um, if you use them in a production context, if you want to pull individual things out, then you get to um, do that as a director of a room. So let me do uh, let me open the director view for this room because every room has a director's view. So I'm opening a new tab here. And uh, what's the syntax? Director equals and then the room name, right? Yep. So I'll just go over as ninja slash question mark director equals my secret room. And this opens uh, this special window. That's the director's view. And the director's view now shows me at very low resolution the different um, sources here. You can see that uh, the different guests in the room. And it provides me with a bunch of different links and there's like an invitation link that you can send to guests there is you could go through the director room first if you want to right you could start that it doesn't really matter the order doesn't really matter um you could um and you can use what's called scenes and scenes are a kind of a special thing a scene is um well how to describe that it a scene there there right now there are two kinds of scenes there's one scene that automatically includes all guests of the room at good quality that's kind of the important thing and you could use that in your production suite of cho choice as in obs for example and there's another scene where you can manually add people from the room too so let's do this there is the Let's use scene zero first. Here's a, a an empty scene, a full scene that includes all the guests of the room. So let me open a new tab here. Just copy that link in there. And here we go with a window that has both of us at decent quality. So very simple. Uh, let me close that one again. And let me show you the other scene, which is, which is the uh, scene number one. And that's an empty scene. So what we'll get is an empty room. And now as a director, let me go to the director tab again. Under each of those little thumbnails, there's an add to group scene button. So if I add Steve to a scene, let's go over to the tab. There he is. I'll add myself to the scene. Oh, we're both there. Um, I'll remove Steve from the scene and he's gone. So you get the idea. As a director, you can, you can pretty much um, mix and match and have different guests be in the scene, be not in the scene. Um, you get also get to change their audio because they all output their audio to that scene. So if you use that scene as an as a as a browser in OBS, for example, the audio is all guests mixed. Now, if one of them is too loud, you have a little volume slider here where you can change their uh, volume in there. There's even a so-called so solo links, which is links specific for that one person. Just imagine you want to use that one person in their separate window and have them in there. So you can copy that solo link and use it in a browser source in OBS. Very straightforward and worth playing, definitely worth playing with it. Um, you also see two recording buttons under each of the scene, uh, under each of the guests, there's a recording button. I think that goes under experimental for now, right? Absolutely. <laughs> um, and I think one reason is because it's it all the whole recording happens in Google Chrome's memory. So it's not like written out disk, it's in memory. And if your computer runs out of memory, then that might have uh, that might cause issues. It, it, it's right. experimental for sure. It uh, it can have problems with the, the file types, their their WebM or um, B. Yeah, web you need to convert them afterwards. So it's it's challenging because they also have variable uh, resolutions. Um, <laughs> but you know, in a pinch, they let you record a show. Yeah. All right. So this is the director mode. This is the room um, that we joined. There's the director's view, and then there's the scenes. Um, this is kind of a really central concept to OBS, a ninja.
the very, very central concept and probably the best way to use it. And by the way, you can use a room just as a as a replacement for a, for another video chat because it simply works. You give that other person the same link, room equals something, and they will be with you in a room and they can talk to you. So um, not just for including it in a production, but also to have a chat with your friends. And that goes browser to browser, not through some big corporation server. So I think that's... I think that's a definite bonus, and I'm using it for that. So I guess that's enough for this little episode. We'll talk We'll talk rooms without a director next time because that's another really cool way to play with it. So lesson number two is in the can. <laughs>